Okay, so I pulled this battery out and these two cells are bad. I've tried cycling them and they will not hold much more of a charge. You can see there's like a little bit of a a little bit more of a spread there, like these are bloated up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this. Because I've taken these apart a bunch of times and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and just go ahead and take these uh, holder bars off of here. So my attempt here is going to be to take the 8 millimeter bolts off that hold it underneath and get under here with a flathead and see if I can pry these cells up out of here without disassembling the whole pack. Okay, I've got the bars off and the idea here is with everything off, your bars, your vent hoses, if I'm gonna try and pull this, just these two cells out, depending on wherever you have bad cells, idea is let's see if I can get underneath here with this jumper side disconnected and then on the other side, like wherever you have your cell at, let's say you just pry off you know, take back three or four on each side. I just put some Sharpies in here so that this has held apart and disconnected. And the idea is in behind here. I'm gonna try and see if I can just go underneath here and pry up. Since these cells are already dead and damaged, we're gonna see if we can just pry some cells out of there without disassembling this whole thing. Okay, so the answer in short is no, it will not work. I tried prying up on this multiple times, both sides, it will not come out of there. It's got this plastic on each side, makes it very stiff. So what you have to do is take the end cap off, the um, 12 millimeter bolts, take the end cap off. So I just broke it apart here and I took apart this, this one on the very end to allow it to to move freely and the whole block will kind of slide down give you a little bit of freedom wherever your bad cells are at and then you should be able to just as long as you can get like about a fourth of an inch maybe an eighth of an inch you can slide these things apart but it's that plastic in between that it's this plastic like on the edge that makes it very very stiff in between these cells. So I've just replaced these two cells here with some new high output ones on eBay that were holding at 7.2 volts a piece. It's supposed to be guaranteed, so we'll put this thing back together and we'll see. thing looks like it's in the working mode now. So I've been driving this car for about two weeks now and the battery stays oh, I'd say in about the 60, 70, 80 percent range all the time. No red triangle of death, no check engine lights. Uh, as you can see here, voltages are staying very high. So as a recap, after two weeks of driving this thing, all my voltages are staying pretty solid with the car off at about a 16.8, 16.9 voltage rating. And that's what you want. You want them to all be very even. What I found throughout this process is if one of these blocks drop below a volt and a half of all the rest, that's when it throws your red triangle of death, throws your check engine lights. So if any of these are within one and a half volts lower than the rest of them, that's what it says hey we've got too much of a variance here and I'm gonna throw a check engine light I'm gonna shut this thing down and that's when your car goes into limp mode so you need all these voltages to be very close to one another and just driving the car it'll actually do that it'll 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 even itself out on its own